this year, Santa's Village, was, it was our 60th year, and actually on Sunday we had record numbers. We had 543 people, close to 1,400, or it would be over 1,400 for the weekend, which is up in the top third. And it was just, the weather was perfect. Uh, we had plenty of volunteers. It was just really an exciting weekend. We have a crew of scouts um, with Doug Berg home and, and it's evolved as there are more groups that are coming in on that Saturday after Thanksgiving and they pull everything out of the closets and they get those buildings set up. So that's the first big push. Uh, the original Santa's Village uh, that Wink Tablet started was actually in the closet. There was just a front and it was recessed in the closet where we now store the whole village. I don't remember if Dad found it in a magazine or saw it in some other community, but he came up with the idea of having a Santa's workshop in a Christmas village, uh, where Santa from the North Pole could come down to the community center sometime prior to Christmas and uh, share the wonders of the holiday with all the friends, the children, and, the, uh, and their parents at the community center. Now, in those early days, um, of course, my brother Charlie and I were always involved with whatever he did. So we became the first elves. Um, I was happy, my brother was slappy, and my brother was a, a love train, so he was responsible for setting up the train set. And I love to cut things out of wood with my little bandsaw, jigsaw but made by craftsmen, uh, which I still have. And, uh, and I was responsible for cutting out little things to give to children as they came through the village. The, uh, the entire community got involved in those early years. And the first building, of the, uh, as I recall, of the, uh, of the village was the chapel. And Dad took the closet and heading hall and, uh, and used that, made a facade over the closet door and used that to become the background for the, the place to go through the chapel uh, bell and the chapel steeple to go through that and into uh, a worship spot. Well, Wink, Wink asked me to join one time. He was putting this village together and he said, how about helping me out a little bit? And I said, I'd be happy to. So I took over the, uh, I made the chapel and uh, made that my basement at home, brought it over, put pieces of it, and put it together. They now have a different one, uh, which is a little better than the one that I made, I'll tell you. And, uh, but I know I spent a lot of time with Wink and, and, uh, and helping him and uh, along with other people in the community who did this. And uh, I don't know, I got a big charge out of it and doing it. And uh, I even played Santa one year. I didn't like that too much because the whiskers kept getting in my mouth <laughs> and it bothered me. But other than that, I did enjoy working on the, uh, the project and Wink was such a, uh, such a leader. He was he a was fab fabulous fellow. We often have people from all over the country because their families are still here. So they'll make a point of coming this yes. weekend so that they get to do Santa's Village. Um, and one of the local kids, Garfield, was, who hadn't been in many, many years, was able to bring her daughter this year, which was so exciting to, to see her. And, and you always have people that come back year after year. And Brad Wood was here this oh, yes, year to see yes. his mom. He hasn't been in many, many years. So we do. We have people come from all over the country just because their families are still here.